Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. If you have not subscribed, please do so. Yes. So in today's video, I'm gonna do something that I've seen on YouTube and I really like watching these videos. I don't know if you guys will like it or not, hopefully. But it's 24 things I have learned in 24 years or however old you are. You guys might know this because I've talked about it before. Um, in February, it's my birthday and I am going to be turning 24 years old. And well, it depends when this video goes up, so it might have already been my birthday. But basically, I'm almost 24 years old, and I'm just gonna talk about 24 things that I have learned in 24 years of life. First thing is that every day is a clean slate. And you can get up in the morning, and if you do something that you're super embarrassed about, it's fine, because the next day is a clean slate. You can just forget about the stupid, embarrassing decisions you made, whatever day that was. The second thing is, Aim to be the best you can be, and when you're not, tomorrow's a new day and you can start over. It's kind of the same as the last, but... The third thing is, experiences are worth more than things. If you live on a budget and give up a few material goods so you can save up for an adventure, it's 100% worth it, in my opinion. I've learned that my way is not the only or the best way to do things. The fifth thing is, the feeling you have when a cat chooses you as their human is one not much can compare with. I'm sorry if these are super, super cheesy, but they're things I've learned. Home is where the people you love are. You can have more than one home. It's wherever you feel safe, comfortable, and happy. The eighth thing is, there are times in life when you realize that the moment you are in will not last forever, and you have to take a second to stop and appreciate that moment for all that it is. The ninth thing is, don't waste your time dreaming about the future, be it tomorrow, next week, or next year. Focus on today because you don't want to look back and see you wasted your life on anticipation. The tenth thing is, I'm sorry if these are like kind of depressing, but I mean, I don't know. I was feeling really heartfelt when I wrote these, so. It is important to recognize your privilege and use your voice to speak for those who are pushed into silence. No matter who you are or what you've accomplished in life, you are not any more important than anyone else. And that's not to demean you or make you feel little, that's just to say you're not better than anyone. Stop acting like you are if you act like that and stop being pretentious. This is not me telling you, this is things I've learned for myself. My worst problems are things people pray for and it's important to recognize that. Gas being expensive, I complain about that all the time, but some people, they just want a car. Sometimes I complain because our hot water is really slow, or my hot water is really slow, and some people just want running water at all. I've complained about my computer being broken and not working so many times, but some people have never even touched a computer in their entire lives. So I've learned that even the things I complain about are a privilege that I even have those things and I should be grateful. That's not to say I should never complain, that's impossible but just realize that I do have a lot more than a lot of the world. The 13th thing I've learned is that quinoa is a miracle food and so is coconut water. Your attitude can improve or deplete your day, month, year, and life, and you are the only one who controls your attitude. The 15th thing I've learned is singing is not for everyone, sadly. In this past year, I've also learned that Zac Efron is better in musicals than he is in comedies. Just my opinion, but it's also a fact. I've learned you don't have to pretend to like stuff to impress people. On that note, The Breakfast Club isn't that great. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Being alone is not the same as being lonely, and being alone is sometimes more fun than constantly being with people. Ask people about themselves and actually listen to them instead of just waiting for your turn to talk again. And when you talk again, learn to not always just talk about yourself. No one our age actually knows how to adult. We're all just winging it. Know how to cook like six meals or something like that, and you're basically set for life. I will always value comfort over style. That is non-negotiable. This includes my quote for 2018. I guess I have a quote for 2018 that I, now that I said it aloud, I just realized, but what it is, well, what, what the 24th thing is that I learned is, if you really wanna do something but you're too scared, do it anyway. 
to quote Carrie Fisher, stay afraid, but do it anyway. You don't have to wait for confidence to do what you're afraid of, otherwise you'll never end up doing it. If it's something you're absolutely sure you wanna do, but you're waiting for the fear to pass, it won't. The only way to get over it is to face it head on. So stay afraid and do it anyway. The confidence will follow. And then I have three things that are bonus. I'm sorry if you're like so over this video and you're just like, wow, she still has more. Well, I do, I have three bonuses. One of them is God is faithful even when you aren't. The second one is don't let negativity consume your thoughts. And the last one is travel is one of the only things you can buy that makes you richer. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't, please subscribe. Yes, I've been begging for subscriptions and like all the videos because you should subscribe and you should like it and give it a thumbs up if you want to. And yeah, I hope you have a lovely day and I hope that any of these things maybe change your perspective on life and maybe make your year better, your day better. I, I don't know. Bye.